going on guys, Bar here, welcome back to the channel, I hope you guys are all having a good day today. We got four topics in today's video! Three of them will knock out really quick and then the last one will be the main topic of today's video. Number one, man, Flex Friday, boom, get them guns, man! Hopefully you guys had a good workout, I had an amazing workout, did chess, knocked it out, two hours, it's my therapy, man, I love it. On my four day weekends, I do chest, back, and legs. Oh my god, puts me in a great mood, it just, uh, just, I chill have a good time, get some good lifts in, and it's just something that brings a smile to my face. It makes me happy for the rest of the day, so love working out. Hopefully you guys got a good workout in. Number two, hopefully I have some good Resident Evil gameplay. I actually just got back into Resident Evil 2. Uh, my buddy uh, Bull on Twitter actually just started playing Resident Evil 2. He just got into the game, is really enjoying it, and it actually made me want to play it again. Uh, and then also drove in that idea of like, man, I want, I'm, I'm, I used to have this guide, or I still have this guide on YouTube. It's like only like an hour long guide of Resident Evil, only gets you like through like a little bit of the game. But it made me think, I was like, oh my God, Bull's picking this game up for the very first time. It would be fun to be actually pick that guide up and continue to make that guide, continue the guide on. Um, you know, instead of one hour, it's, you know, two and a half, maybe three hour long guide to where it's walking you through the steps on how to play it and to help you uh, benefit you a little bit more to uh, getting the best grade, unlocking some of the, uh, you know, infinite weapons and whatnot. But uh, let me know in the comments below. It's just something that, you know, just crept into my mind. I enj I'm enjoying that Bull is enjoying Resident Evil 2, but I would love to know in the comments below, guys. What do you guys think? Should I continue the Resident Evil guide uh, and pick it back up and actually finish it? So let me know. Number three. All right. The main topic of today's video, which is going to be number four, is about PewDiePie um, and the community guideline strike he got for making a music video uh, about Coco Melon. Coco Melon's, you know, this, you know, kid video and whatnot, or kid uh, channel, you know, music, uh, stuff like that, old McDonald, all that other BS. Well, my number three thing is I'm actually trying to make a transition over to Odyssey. Odyssey is another uh, YouTube-ish type uh, video service that is a, a direct competitor, at least from what I see, to YouTube. I've actually enjoyed it. Uh, I've been on it for about two weeks now. I actually enjoy the way that it works out, um, the way that you upload videos, the way that it kind of just, you're able to find stuff and whatnot. I actually really enjoy it, and I'm trying to make the full transition over to Odyssey, or at least kind of see how it works. Right now, I'm kind of bouncing between the two. I upload on YouTube, it uploads to Odyssey, stuff like that, but I would love to see a full transition over to Odyssey. So I'm going to leave in the description below. Uh, a link to my Odyssey, follow it, watch my videos over there. Let me know what you guys think about Odyssey as well. Um, but it's just something in the back of my mind that lets you guys know that that's something that I do plan on doing later on in the future um, if it is a possibility that I see some success uh, with that transition. All right, now let's talk about number four, PewDiePie. All right, so I, as a parent, as somebody that has used Coco Melon uh, for my kid, for Tony, um, I, I feel like I have an opinion that's very unique to the situation with PewDiePie getting this uh, community guideline strike, his video getting banned. He made a video, a, a mocking uh, parody type video towards Coco Melon uh, that I would say it's not vulgar, but use strong language. As somebody that, you know, I use Coco Melon as something that entertained Tony when she was a little kid. She loved the old nursing rhymes, especially as an adult as well. I needed to know the nursery rhymes. I, I, I just had a kid. I don't know any nursing rhymes. She wants to rock. I'm just sitting there and quiet. I need, a, I need something to sing. So Coco Melon helped me out a little bit as a dad. I got picked up, you know, old McDonald, uh, you know, bingo, all this stuff. Um, was very helpful for me, not only learning nursery rhymes to rock her, but also as a as a little uh, baby uh, or a little toddler and whatnot, she would watch that stuff, pick up on the nursery rhymes, pick up on, you know, some of the cartoons that would do, you know, be playing. And in the background, maybe I could do dishes and stuff like that. Uh, it was just something that helped me out as somebody that didn't have... You know, my wife here, Hannah here, to help me out, um, it was nice to have that in the background playing that it's not, you know, something grotesque or something terrible. It's Coco Melon, it's little nursing rhymes and a little cartoon. So I enjoy that part. However, with everything that PewDiePie did with this music video, I feel it's very hypocritical of YouTube and what they're doing. So PewDiePie makes this music video mocking Coco Melon. Um, and YouTube says, nope, that's harassment. We are banning the video. We're giving a community guideline strike to PewDiePie. And I'm over here just going, you think that's a little over the top with what's actually on YouTube right now? I mean, you have WAP. You have all these other type of music videos that are threatening stuff, uh, threatening violence on people, talking about, you know, very illegal things on here. But YouTube's okay with that. 
but you got to smack down PewDiePie for what the music video that he did? Like, okay, I can get behind the fact that, yes, yeah, some of the thing he used very strong language in it, some of the stuff was edited, um, but also, too, it's like you have stuff on your website that I would say is probably worse than what, uh, <laughs> what PewDiePie was able to make. Now, if you want to make this argument about harassment and whatnot, okay, I understand that YouTube has this terms of service and whatnot where it comes to, you know, you can't harass people on YouTube. You can't make a, a video. You, this, this is how YouTube was back in the day, and it's actually one thing I enjoyed. So he would make a video, and then somebody would make a video on that video mocking him or giving him, you know, giving different perspective uh, over, you know, that video. And then they'd go back and forth. You know, it was kind of like bickering in the town square, and that's kind of what YouTube and Twitter and Facebook has kind of has become. It's been come, it's become the town square, really, of, of, the, uh, of the world, at least for right now. Um, okay, so I understanding that YouTube has that guideline, you know, that, that terms of service with harassment and whatnot. The one thing I don't like about the situation that's happening right now where they struck down PewDiePie's video for harassment to Coco Melon. Okay, I could, I, 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 bear with me, I don't like it at all. I don't like it that you, you have this thing because I like back in the day where you, you could have channels go back and forth with different ideas going between each channels and whatnot. I don't like that, that that's considered harassment now. But, okay, I can understand. Harassment, I will try to understand as much as I can with harassment rules. However, with PewDiePie as an individual, even though he has a little bit of help, as an individual controlling his channel, going against and making a parody video to Coco Melon, which I would see as a corporation. I mean, you have other things on here, like even the Oscars was in uh, the news with people downvoting uh, Kathleen Kennedy's uh, video on the Oscars, and now they, you know, they hit dislikes and likes, and they hit the comments and that. Um, I see that as a corporation. I don't see that as a single individual. I don't see that as just one single person. PewDiePie's channel, on the other end, is just him. It's just him. He might be having help in the background edit his video and stuff like that, getting stuff prepared for it, but him as an individual... I can see the harassment to an individual, but when it comes to a corporation, I'm like, it's, I mean, it's a corporation entity. I mean, like, I could go outside and bitch and moan and complain about Walmart, Best Buy, Price Chopper. Is the cop, are the cops gonna come and arrest my ass because I made a music video or I made comments outside harassing you know, any of these multi-million dollar corporations? No, that's it, not gonna, I mean, if, if it, unless it's like violence and stuff like that, yeah, then, then I can see that. But the fact that, he is making this parody video, this mockery video, going against Coco Melon. I see as a stretch. Like, I really do. I see this as a big stretch because he's going after a channel that's not an endo. If, he, if, if PewDiePie was making, if he was making a music video going after one individual, like me. What, if, if PewDiePie made a mockery video of me, one, I would be very appreciative because that'd be awesome that'd be that'd help me out quite a bit but one I, I would see that from youtube standard okay that can be considered harassment whatever I, I as me as personally i would not see that as harassment i mean i could just make a video saying you know what that, that's bs that pd pie makes a video about me but i don't see that as harassment unless it like continues on like you you're being really you're, you're being really you know i guess use so strong language or something like that over a constant time where you know maybe the person says stop and whatnot uh or stop harassing me or whatnot i, I just i'm not understanding the, the stretch that YouTube is doing right now, even though I, I know that they put in terms of service, like you can't do this, but as somebody that is a parent, as somebody that knows, <laughs> I don't know. For me, I feel like I have a wider range of thought besides just immediately ban somebody, ban that content, strike that person down. There's a little bit more context uh, in, in situations like this to where, uh, you know, you have PewDiePie making a mockery video or a parody video to Coco Melon, which is a corporation, at least a company. I'll say a company um, instead of just an individual. I mean, come on. I mean, let me know in the comments below. I mean, am I going on something to where, you know, I'm going towards something hot right now or am I just talking out my butt and it should be, no matter if you're a company or an individual, the harassment charges, the harassment, you know, complaints and whatnot uh, should be dealt with the same. To me, I don't believe so. I don't believe so at all. Um, but then also too, when it comes to YouTube, having these very vulgar um, music videos and and some of them, I mean, talking about illegal things, uh, double standard, 
kind of much. I mean, especially with, I mean, like, if you want to get, you know, him on, on the harassment thing, okay, whatever. But when it comes to other things that are on YouTube, how the hell are you making that stretch to where you can ban his video? But there is some stuff on YouTube that's like, oh, <laughs> having to explain what WAP was to somebody, that was <laughs> pretty fun. <laughs> It was a very fun, enter, enter, entertaining conversation of explaining what WAP the music video or the music was for that. But I mean, come on, really? You're gonna go after PewDiePie for the, the for the mockery, you know, parody video that he goes towards Coco Melon? But I mean, it's ridiculous. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments below. That was just my my the main topic of today's video. Um, I think it's kind of BS. I think there was there should have been no strike whatsoever on PewDiePie. Um, and I think YouTube is making a pretty damn big stretch with the harassment charge. So anyway, let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about PewDiePie getting the strike and, and getting the, his video banned? Um, let me know as well as to Odyssey. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, yeah, man. Ridiculous. We're, we're getting to the ridiculous territory of YouTube. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please have a great rest of the day. Get them guns on this Flex Friday, man. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.